right, so <clears throat> here's the field line here. This has been farmed, uh, it's over 20 years, I guess. On the right, it was native pasture ground up until then. This was a lane along here, went went all the way to the farm so the cattle could get out to pasture so the milk cows could come in every day. They were grass-fed milk cows. Uh, they weren't really grain-fed much. They sold the grain, fed the grass. Anyway, yeah, there's much tremendous difference in the stand. Much better stand. Much better buckwheat. Although there's patches here and there that were pretty good. It's even over the high ground over there was good, but all this lower ground here just sucked really bad. It's amazing. So I, I'm not sure how the higher ground, you can see the swaths are real heavy there up out of the slough, you know, it was really good buckwheat there. When you come up out of that slough, it was pretty decent over the high ground there though too. It's that's high sandy ground, so I don't know why that's better because you'd think that'd be more nutrient deficient. But but yeah, it's a, so the farming, uh, modern farming is just a, a, a system of basically hydro, hydroponics and you're just using the soil as a, as a sponge to basically supply the water and the, the, the artificial nutrients to the crop and uh, it's basically a dead medium, uh, growing medium, like some kind of crappy potting soil. You gotta put miracle Grow in it to get anything to grow in it. But, uh, it's a, uh, yeah, crazy world that we live in. Crazy world, but buckwheat needs fertility. It needs, it needs some, it needs something in the soil. Like this buckwheat here is really nice and this is, this is part of the old lane. You can see just up ahead where it drops down, it changes. You know, even the color of the stubble is greener. Uh, night and day difference, but yeah, it's pretty nice buckwheat going down this way. So all that ground, all that ground that's only got about, uh, it's 20, maybe 25 years it's been farmed versus 145. See, it's 2023, 20, 1883, 80, or 1882. Uh, 20 years would be uh, 2000, or, uh, 1902, so then another 100 years, it'd be 120 years to 2002, and then 22, so 140, that's 140 some years anyway, 141 years. So yeah, the soils are depleted, even though we, we poured fertilizer on here all the years that since my dad went to ag college and started farming and started using fertilizer back in the 40s, uh, he said he wouldn't even pull the drill out of the shed without fertilizer. Well, yeah, because in 1911, the so soil survey of Barnes County, they already said that's only like 20, 30 years in, which is what this is, by the way, about 25 years in, but they said the soils were depleted. Just imagine how fertile this ground was, you know, when you first broke it up and everything, yeah. So by 30 years in, the soils were depleted and the fields were infested with weeds. There wasn't enough biodiversity, wasn't enough livestock taking too much off and not putting it back, hauling all the straw into the threshing machine and then blow it in a big pile. And a lot of times they just burn the whole pile to get rid of the weed seeds. And and uh, nothing's changed. I've done, done the same thing myself because I've, I've rode the, the straw in the field and then burned, but at least I burn it in the field. And all I'm losing is the nitrogen and the sulfur, basically the, the nutrients are still staying there, uh, like the phosphorus and, and, and a lot the potassium and whatever. And the, a lot of the micros, they don't vaporize off, but the, uh, the, the nitrogen disappears. But nitrogen is in flux all the time anyway. It's a, you know, you can build nitrogen, you can build nitrogen with the legumous crops and with, with you know, Azerbacter and whatnot, even on your non-legumious crops, so. But, uh, yeah, we should have schools to teach you how to farm sustainably and responsibly so we're not using all these chemicals and uh, glyphosate and poisoning the planet. We're, we're literally killing, we're killing the planet we're killing ourselves and killing, we're eating ourselves to death. It's incredible.